Doomfist came out today for competitive, and I can already smell the VODs that'll be flowing in. First, though, you need to know exactly what he's good for. Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing fine. My name is Skyline. This background footage is my very first ranked Doomfist game. Oh, my goodness. Hear that? That's him ulting in the background. All oh, right. Anyway, it's a placement match. I used a variety of different styles and strategies throughout to show what they looked like, and there were several different team compositions throughout the match on both sides. At certain points, I was performing rather weak, and at other points, rather strong, based on the style of play and the enemy team composition. So it's a good demonstration game for the hero, I think. Now, right off the bat, Doomfist will not be a very effective hero to main compared to the more popular mains that people like to choose. Heroes like Genji, Tracer, Widow can all outskill their way out of basically any situation in any map and any set of team compositions. As long as you perform well enough, you can pretty much ignore any higher meta strategy because of how versatile those heroes' skill sets are. That isn't the case with Doomfist. If you choose to main Doomfist, you'll often run into literally unwinnable scenarios. It doesn't really matter if you're a GM player and they're all silvers. If you're trying to attack with Doomfist versus something like a Bastion and McCree defense, you won't be able to do anything. Doomfist has several straight up hard counters and we'll get into exactly what those are in a bit. I already alluded to a couple. So now that I've seen and played a lot more Doomfist, it's become apparent that he's definitely stronger as a defense hero than he is on offense. His strong crowd control and his peel coupled with insane close range damage is perfect for crushing anything that tries to dive your back line. The point also makes for a perfect zone of control that Doomfist can hold down and keep enemies from entering, lest they feel the wrath of his fist. Now, Doomfist can attack, but this becomes much more situational than he is on defense. Early on, the community speculated that he might be a flanker, and although he can pull off flanky plays okay, he isn't a great solo flanker uh, by any means. He's far too vulnerable, and pulling off solo flanks is really, really risky. Genji and Tracer have instantaneous escapes and invulnerability skills. You know, oh, no, I'm danger. Boom, blink. Boom, deflect. Anything like that. Doomfist, though, he can jump in, but none of it, like, none of his jumping around and moving around is reliable enough to often get him out of the dicey situations flankers often find themselves in behind enemy lines. Instead, Doomfist wants to go in and punch bad guys alongside his teammates where he can be safer. So on attack, he's best in a tanky lineup. Doomfist could possibly even be a needed update to tanky compositions in general. Triple tank always needs a strong DPS hero to actually finish off targets. Otherwise, it might as well be called, you know, team pillow fight or something like that. Otherwise, uh, oftentimes it was a soldier because he was the best combination of sustained DPS plus survivability in the game. The problem with Soldier, however, was always that the tanks would go and charge in, and the Soldier would often be stuck fending for himself if the other team was running dive. The Soldier was good, for sure, that's why it was the dominant strategy for so long, but oftentimes he was vulnerable on offense. That's why the buff to dive eventually made it way stronger than triple tank. Doomfist has a similarly crazy damage potential, but he can dive right in with the rest of the team and the tanks, and when he's surrounded by those three tanks, he can be extremely hard to kill. Definitely watch out for him in that role specifically. Outside of a triple tank composition that is protecting him, however, Doomfist is really hard to use on attack. A lot of things will just instantly hard counter you. McCree is basically unbeatable. Bastion is literally unbeatable. Even a direct hit with your ultimate can't kill him in sentry mode because of his passive. And he's immune to all of your crowd control and knockback, again, when he's in sentry mode. Hanzo wrecks you because your large hitbox and your low relative health compared to your hitbox is especially susceptible to scatter arrow. And you'll notice that you often die to it in ways other heroes would not really have died to. Plus, you're just a very easy arrow target in general, especially when you're trying to charge up your fist. Then there's Sombra. It's difficult for you to interrupt a Sombra hack, even if you know it's coming because you have no range. She can just stand, you know, a little bit away from you, a few feet away from you. And because you are all cooldowns, Doomfist is like 100% just cooldowns, getting hacked is basically a death sentence. You're 
really helpless. You literally just die. Oh man, what else do we have? Oh, Junkrat. Junkrat is literally unkillable. You cannot kill Junkrat. It is impossible. All he has to do is put a trap down between you and him and laugh. You can't charge him. You get trapped. You can't slam. You get trapped. You can't do anything. Even if you manage to be tricky, you know, and use your momentum to carry yourself to him somehow and get around the trap, you can just use his remote mind knock knockback to reset your positions and you need to close the gap all over again. So yeah, Junkrat hard counter on defense. Basically a lot of stuff kills Doomfist, but right now he is great against all of the meta heroes like D.Va who can't block his skills, Genji who can't block his skills, and Tracer who's always at risk of being one shot if she's anywhere near Doomfist. If a Winston leaps in and puts down a shield, you can actually uppercut him out of the shield where he'll easily die to anything, either you or the rest of his team. Doomfist definitely has a lot of strong uses for sure but if you want to keep your SR intact do not play him like a flanker you'll die a lot and you'll be sad play him very patiently staying behind your team only going in after your tanks and when you find a safe opening on defense stay patiently behind your supports and near the point to crush anyone who tries to jump in especially on attack You'll often find that you can't really do anything on Doomfist, and you'll probably have to switch, like against all the scenarios I explained up above. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to give you a quick introduction to the hero and let people know what to expect as they play ranked going forward with and against Doomfist. Be sure to send in your VODs as I'd love to see some Doomfist gameplay from all of you. Never forget to stay positive, and have a great day. See you tomorrow.